Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. A big thank you to everyone who supported us on the website, Google+, Facebook and Twitter. As a thank you, here's a special reference film just for you. Half-track vehicles are intended mainly for use off the road, that is, in open fields. They are made to carry or tow heavy loads over rough and soft ground. This type of vehicle can keep going where you can't run one that is only equipped with wheels. For instance, in a patch of soft mud or sand like this, where a regular truck can sink up to the hubs, a half-track stays right on the surface of the ground. This ability of a vehicle to resist sinking into the ground is known as flotation. Because it has more supporting surface on the ground, the half-track has greater flotation. It's like walking in soft, deep snow with snowshoes that keep you on the surface instead of ordinary shoes that let you sink down. The half-track also grips the ground better, has more traction than an all-wheel vehicle. It is better for towing loads because it has the speed of regular trucks together with almost as much traction as a tractor. Another great advantage of the half track is the fact that it can climb over obstacles because the track slants to form an inclined plane something like a portable ramp. Since the track also forms a portable bridge, a vehicle of this type can travel across wide ditches. The reasons why the half track is superior in bridging, climbing, traction and flotation can be understood more easily by examining the design and construction of its endless band tracks and bogey assembly. The bogey assembly consists of two suspensions joined by a cross tube. Each suspension rides on eight solid rubber tired bogey wheels. The bogey wheels carry most of the weight of the vehicle. The frame bracket of each suspension is separated from its crab assembly by two volute springs. The volute spring is made of flat steel coiled like the mainspring of a watch, but with a vertical spiral. It combines the advantage of being compact with the ability to absorb heavy shocks as the vehicle rolls over any rough surface. The weight of the vehicle passes from the springs to the crab assemblies, which in turn are supported by right and left arms. A shaft connects the outer end of each arm with a frame to each of which a set of four bogey wheels is attached. In addition to protecting the vehicle against road shocks, 
The extreme flexibility of the whole bogey assembly provides a high degree of articulation, which means that the bogies tend to conform to the shape of any obstacle over which they move. This keeps the vehicle riding level and without being raised to the height of the obstacle. Of course, in regular operation, the bogey wheels don't come in contact with the ground or anything on it. They travel on the inner surface of the endless band track. The skeleton of this type of track consists of two continuous lengths of steel wire cable. For purposes of illustration, here the cable has been cut into short pieces. The cable is sandwiched between a series of bottom cross plates and corresponding top cross plates. Both the cable and the cross plates are treated so that the rubber body of the track can be vulcanized to them. The cross plates are equipped with interlocking guides. These guides keep the track in proper running position. A driving lug also is a part of each cross-plate assembly. These lugs engage the track with the sprocket wheel of the vehicle. The sprocket wheel, which is located forward of the bogey assembly and is driven by the rear axle of the vehicle, transmits the power necessary to move the track. Two steel wheel rollers on top of the bogey frame bracket support and guide the track at this point. A free rolling idler wheel supports and guides the track at the rear and also makes it possible to tighten or loosen it. To do this, alongside the rear idler, there is an adjusting screw that, depending on which way it is turned, moves the idler back or forth. Incidentally, here's a case where an adjustable wrench, because of lack of space, has to be used the wrong way. That is, with the pressure against the movable jaw instead of the stationary jaw. Whenever you have to use an adjustable wrench like this, be extra careful. Otherwise, if it slips off, there's a good chance of skinning your knuckles or worse. As the adjusting screw moves the idler back or forth, the endless band track is tightened or loosened. Keeping the tracks at proper tension is the most important single preventive maintenance service to be done on any vehicle of this type. The surest way to keep half-track vehicles running at their best and to get the longest possible life from the tracks themselves is to take care of the few preventive maintenance services they require. That's more important to you than anybody else because longer track life means less trouble, hard work, and time spent in replacing tracks. Also, a vehicle that is kept right so that it keeps rolling is the safest kind to be in. One that stalls is an easy target when you're under fire from the enemy. Subscribe for our latest videos.